unboxing. Hello, hello, and welcome to today's video. It is unboxing time. More unboxing. If you watched my last unboxing, you saw that I was going to try and do one really big video and um, decided against it. Probably with good reason too, considering how long the last one was, and this is like the same again, if not actually a little bit more. So the theme for this unboxing is second hand. If you have not seen any of my unboxing or haul videos, I buy a lot of second hand manga. A lot, a lot. Personally, I'm not too bothered about the quality as long as it's still readable. I do have a few secondhand ones where I'm like, mm, I might replace this one day. But compared to how much I buy, it's probably one in every 20 maybe. It may be even less common than that. I definitely think secondhand manga has improved in quality over the past few years, maybe because more people are buying it and then giving them uh, to companies that then sell them on as secondhand and just there's just so much more, I don't know. A couple of reasons why this secondhand haul is probably bigger than usual. Number one, it is August, or actually pretty much September, which means it is time to start my Christmas shopping. I know, I like to be very prepared. A lot of the Christmas presents that I give to my partner are light novels. I'm into manga, he's into light novels. And buying light novels secondhand, you pretty much the same kind of way that I buy my manga. I, I, do, I apply the same sort of techniques to find them. And generally, I, the long, I try and buy like a bit over time in the months leading up to Christmas and it ends up with me being able to accumulate a decent pile for a decent price. I mean, last year I managed to pick up pretty much the entirety of the Sword Art Online light novels because I spent like six months trying to pick them up and most of them were bought for like five pounds or less. So that's the first reason why this haul's gonna be a bit bigger. There's going to be a whole lot of light novels in this. I'm not gonna be able to talk too much about them. Some of them are just kind of random that I picked up because it was like really cheap and he likes reading random light novels like I re like reading random manga. The second reason is I did manage to find a discount code for World of Books that was 30% off. I know, it was pretty much, I used it and the next day it wasn't valid anymore. Very sad. But I did manage to get <laughs> a lot of this way cheaper than even it was, like a second hand price and then take 30% off. That was, oh, it was great. <laughs> I have ambled too much. Just before we start, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more Manga Glorious content, more boxings and hauls, and I need to do a collection tour. I am overdue a collection tour. I was thinking of doing one the moment I finished all this unboxing, but I am going manga shopping next weekend, so I might do it after that. But I'm always going manga shopping getting parcels. That's the point. At what point do I go filming now? Ah, I'm just gonna shove this to the side and let's get going. As I've said already, and you'll probably be able to tell from the amount of packaging, most of this is from World of Books. There are a few odd ones that aren't from World of Books. Um, unless it says on it, I won't be able to tell you where they're from, I don't remember. But I'll try and guess if I can, but most of it's World of Books. So let's start with the first one. These are surprisingly durable. I've got a few ripped ones, but actually I can see like three from here that are ripped. Oh, so we have got a bunch of light novels, I think. The Magic in This World is Too Far Behind, Volume 8. I think that's, yeah, that's J Novel Club. That's pretty decent. Probably needs a bit of a wipe, but it doesn't look for it. Oh. If it's from my daughter, I'd even defeat a Demon Lord Volume 1 really thin. Surprisingly how, I'm surprised how different the art style is compared to the manga. The manga is just like a big picture of the girl's face, but that's like a scene or something. Also J Novel Club. J Novel Club do a lot of light novels. Connoisseur Blessing on This Wonderful World Volume 9. So I think he has like six of these now. 10.99, did not pay that. I don't even think I paid four pounds for most of these, Christ. I like that there's rainbow spines on those. Acel, Excel, Excel World, I don't know. Volume three, I believe this is the same artist as Solar Online. The spines are actually quite similar. There should be a few more of those in here. So yeah, they all look pretty all, all right. I'm not too, not too bad. No library copies or anything yet. That's doing good. Let's do this singular one, which says it's from Greener Books. So. Probably this was bought through the Amazon market, the, 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 it was probably bought through the Amazon marketplace. And we have got Grand Guggenol Orchestra Volume 1. Ah uh, yes, so I bought Volume 2 and 4 last month from Travelling Man, blind, like these look neat, let's see what it's like. And uh, yeah, I managed to find a couple of volumes, decent price second hand. 
Uh, so I've picked them up. I don't know if I managed to get all of them, but I've got a couple more at least. Single World of Books parcel. We have, ooh, yay! We have Seven Deadly Sins Volume 11. I actually noticed that um, I was meant to have received this in a previous haul about a month ago and it hadn't arrived. Very happy. I've been picking up a lot of this series for about five pounds or less. So, especially because it's a really long series, that makes me quite happy because, I don't want to pay so much crazy money to be able to get 40 volumes of this. Okay, another world of books. This feels light novelly. We have yachts. Oh, not light novels. We have, ooh, Silver Spoon, 14 and 10. I read volume one of this series and really, really liked it, but it is such an expensive series to pick up. In My Forbidden Planet, their, their retail is $13.99, which is really expensive. So three for two is like nine pounds something. So I managed to get both of these for like six pounds, I think, each, six or seven pounds each. Yeah, because I managed to get them discounted. And so I'm really slowly picking this series up. I really love farming, big Harvest Moon fan. And I know Silver Spoon is more like realistic farming, but that's still good. I still enjoy that. Another world of books, unsurprisingly. Ooh, we have a whole lot in here, actually. Witchcraft Works Volume 7. This is qu feels quite battered. It feels worn. It feels open and closed a lot and generally just quite worn, used. Unsurprisingly, it's a used book. But like a lot of them, even when they're like, used they just feel a little bit damaged they don't feel used this feels like a lot of hands have touched this one <laughs> next we have rwby ruby volume four i burn uh i can't i've thrown this in and out of my second hand basket for like six months now i keep tr like oh, i'll pick it up and then when i cut things out it's always one of the ones i cut out and i'm like no i'm gonna do it this time still missing the third one so I can't get particularly far in. I don't really know too much about it other than something to do with rooster teeth, but I don't really know who rooster teeth are apart from something YouTube-y. Right, next we have Everyone's Getting Married Volume 7. Uh, I think, is this, I, I, is it a Jose? I mean, it's Shoujo B. I have been trying to piece this one together for a while now. I found, I've read volumes one and two and found it fine. But it's a nine volume series and I would like to try and complete it and then binge it again. Uh, binge it again? Binge it in one go to see what it's like. Um, but I, yeah, I'm picking them up cheap. This actually feels quite good. This feels like not too bad. A bit rounded around the edges, but I'm not sure that's because it's new, so it's always a bit funny. Okay, what else have we got in here? We have Other Side Picnic Volume 1. Oh, this is really thick considering I think I paid like, again, three pounds for this. I've seen some people say the things about this, it has been recommended to me a couple of times, so seeing it on World of Books and then being able to get the discount, I was like, why not? It's so thick! Okay, last volume in here is Night of the Ice Volume 2. I've been wanting to try this series for a while, and then I finally picked up a volume in Finn Planet London when it was on sale, so I was like, well, now I'll start picking up volumes if I see them discounted, which is what I've done. That's again, it's a little bent, but like, that's not too bad. Let's do another world of books. This one is ripped a bit. So I'll just open the rip a bit more. Okay, on top we have another Everyone's Getting Married. This time it's volume five. Look how clean that seems to be. Very nice, wonderful. What else have we got? We also have, ooh. Akuma No Riddle Volume 3. I have a bunch of volumes of this, actually a bunch, I think I have two. Two volumes of this series I picked up on sale in Forbidden Planet. Uh, it's only a five volume series, I say, question mark, I can't remember. It's a bit harder to find, so I'm probably going to be relying to find the rest second hand. I think I'm only missing volumes one or two, and then I should be complete. Black dots usually mean second hand slash it's been removed from like, need to sell this on to a second hand place usually, I think. Next we have, I thought I removed this from the My Basket, oh well. It is a light novel, The Greatest Demon Lord is a reborn as a typical nobody, volume six. Yeah, another random light novel, but because it was volume six, I thought I pulled it out of my basket. Never mind, here it is. We also have Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash. Volume six, it says level six, nice. That's actually really good quality. 
I mean, look how white those pages are. And, I mean, I just looked really clean. And I paid four pounds for it, maybe. The final volume in here is Night of the Ice, volume six. Also pretty clean. That also is bending like in the same way that the other volume was, volume two. So I wonder if they came from the same place. That'd be interesting. Let's do another world of books, because I've got so many of them. Okay, on top we have The Isolator, which is a hard pack. Nice! This is volume one, and also another one that I believe is from the same creator as Sword Art Online. Yeah, it says on the back. Next we have Clockwork Planet volume 10. This is a manga series that I have been collecting almost entirely second hand now. I think there is only one volume I am missing and I can't remember which number it is off the top of my head but I had been missing volume 10 so very happy to see this one appear on World of Books. Yeah, so I might actually cave and pick up the last volume I need in Forbidden Planet because I have seen them have a number of the volumes there. Bit creased bent there unfortunately but otherwise not too bad. Next we have The Water Dragon's Bride Volume 11. Very happy to find this one because it is the only volume I needed to complete the series. It is an 11 volume series, so it completes with this volume. Final volume. Quality's okay, it's a bit bent, so it might have been stacked under something, though that could have just been the packaging. Some of these are packaged so weirdly. Spine is in good state. Very happy. Next we have Another Night of the Ice Volume 4. I think I only have even numbers in this series. I'm fairly sure I have like 2, 4, 6, 8. Again, it bends in the same way on the cover. I bet I bet it was. I bet it was the same person. Last volume in here is 07 Ghost Volume 5. Did you know that the series is a Jose? I didn't know that. Very solidly piecing the series together, mostly when I see it on sale. So I have, I think, like four or five volumes now, but it's like volume one, five, and then some others. <laughs> that is a bit yellowed, but it doesn't feel too used. It's quite yellowed on the top, actually. Unless on the bottom. So yeah. Do another world of books. I should just say when it isn't world of books at this rate. Next we have Saint Magic Paris Omnipotent Volume 2. This is the light novel. I don't have volume one. I'm not sure if this is gonna be his sort of series, but it was discounted. And if he doesn't read it, I hope to one day once I catch up with all my mank. <laughs> Very good condition. I'd have probably been happy picking this up like in store. Next we have another Seven Deadly Sins, volume 34. Also feels really new. I mean, look at how like crisp those pages are and how close together they are. That's wild. I think I'm only missing like seven or eight volumes before I'm complete with it now. Woof Woof Story, I Told You to Turn Me Into a Pampered Butch, Not Fenrir, volume seven. This is a light novel. He has the first one, I think, and I've picked him a few random ones up. This one does feel a bit more used. The corners are a bit like, smoothed out compared to some of the other ones but otherwise still not too bad next we have gal go in volume six this is a manga kind of an age gap romance between a teacher and student so that's a big warning if that's not your sort of thing i find it a bit meh i really like the food aspect i think the way they're like teaching cooking and stuff is really fun i've only read the first volume i think I think, I might do I have volume two? I think I do have volume two. But I have got some gaps because I've been picking, picking them up discounted more than anything. Finally, in this parcel, we have Combatants Will Be Dispatched volume two. This is a little bit more battered and wavy. Uh, this is the same author as Konosuba. My partner's been reading the manga. I have not yet. Uh, I don't know if he's going to want to read the light novels if he's read the manga, but well, he'll have to now. <laughs> okay, next. Fire Force 19. Very, very happy to see this one discounted because I am only missing, I was missing two Fire Force volumes before I was up to date, and it is 19 and 20. So I'm now only missing 20. This one is a bit battered. It has a mark on the cover, it has a bit like scraped off. That's not too bad. Spine's not too bad. Spine's actually a bit damaged there, but yeah. Cool. Coolio. Wonderful. Very happy. Very happy. It's what make this tower more precarious. And the second volume in here is Land of the Lustrous Volume 5, another series where I picked up most of the volumes secondhand. Really quite like the cover of this one, it gives me like major autumnal theme. Ooh, I can't wait for autumn, please, I don't want summer anymore, it's too warm. Doesn't look too bad, it's still quite white and crisp. It does feel used though. 
it definitely is like a bit bitty around the corners again like it's been flicked a bunch or like yeah red right let's do one that isn't world of books so it does look a bit like it's been packaged in a bin bag i don't know better world books we'll see about that this is the other grand guggenol orchestra volume i ordered volume five so this is a library ex library copy hence why it's got the um plastic sheet over the plastic cover uh, usually i find that actually makes some of the volumes end up in a better quality because it's had like the protection that other volumes might not have had back to world of books this feel is this light lovely oh, damn, come on turn me in, turn me in. This is light novel -y. This is The Wonder and Witch, The Journey of Elena Volume 2 light novel. Uh, I enjoyed the manga a lot. I've only... Uh, have I, how many have I read? I can't remember how many volumes I've read of it, but I have enjoyed it. I, I've already bought him the first light novel, so he's got... Ooh, oh dear. Might glue that down and you'll never know. Another world of books. Uh, am I even making a dent? Doesn't feel like it. I not get hungry. Ugh. It is another light novel. It is, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon on the side, Sword Erasure Volume 2. So this is a spin-off of the main series, Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? Uh, he has started reading it. He's been a fan of the anime. I think there's an anime. Uh, so uh, he has, I have been buying him a lot of the main series and now I'm starting to buy him some of the spin-off series because he needs more. Quite good condition. There's some battering on the corners, but corners, I don't necessarily... I mean, brand new volumes can have battered corners just because of the way they've been like packaged and shipped around, so I'm not sure I necessarily hold that against secondhand manga. Let's do this one that's ripped a bit. Sometimes they like slide in the packaging and it like makes it easier for them to get damaged, which makes me sad. So on top we have Akashic Records of a Bastard Magic Instructor Volume 12. A series where I've been buying a lot second hand or discounted in my Forbidden Planet. I think I've got like five or six volumes, so it's like 16 volumes. I have a way to go until I can collect all of them. And we also have Mushoku Tensei Volume 14. This is quite a newish volume from the series, I think. Where's the damn publisher page? January 2022. That is actually quite new That's this year. Again, I think I paid like five pounds for this, maybe. It's a series that my partner's wanted to pick up. He has like his favourites, but he's nearly caught up on most of those, so he's like, what shall I start next? And Mashoku Tensei is definitely one of the ones he's been considering. Also have Re-015. Now, to be honest, this is the only Re-0 volume he's gonna have. This has been really hard to find in general, not even just second hand. So I don't know if I've made a horrendous mistake picking up volume 15 if i can't find him the other volumes but maybe it'll just be one that takes a few years to be able to accumulate maybe oh then these are from the same series these are both from Rock fantasy and ash we have volumes 10 and 11 oh my god consecutive volumes i do wonder why the manga only wrapped up at three volumes though like considering there's so much more source material maybe they'll do another one at some point oh they have like subtitles that's neat right, let's do another world books not that we have much of a choice. So on top we have Attack on Titan Before the Fall, Volume 15. This is the spin, one of the spin-offs for Attack on Titan. This is Before the Fall. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, it's before uh, Attack on Titan takes place, the main series. So where I'd read up to, which is like Volume 6 or 7, it was all about creating the like manoeuvre gear where they can fly around and defeat titans with swords and stuff they're defeat like creating and manufacturing and engineering that which is quite interesting um and then i've been buying a bunch of other volumes secondhand so i haven't got any more volumes i can read as of yet but i am getting there slowly but surely your line april volume 5 this is another series where i think i'm pretty much just buying it secondhand at this point most of the mostly around for like four or five pounds i am a bit nervous about reading it because i don't want to cry i don't like crying at books i don't it just Makes it harder to read through the tears. So we have Sword Art Online 15. So I know I said that I bought him pretty much all of the Sword Art Online night novels. All of them apart from two. And he bought one of them a couple months ago and the other one was volume 15. So with this he does now have a clear run up to like 21 I think. So he has a couple of volumes behind but he will have a clear run. 
This feels a smidgen bat battered. Actually, no, not too bad. I thought there was like damage on the spine, but that's just like misprint, misaligned slightly. Oh, you can see it. some of the spines on the cover ever so slightly. Great. Oh, there's a bit damage there. Yay! I found them. Wait. Last volume in this parcel is Axel World Volume 5. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I, I don't actually know anything about the series apart from that it's the same author as Sword Art Online. I've got volume one of the manga, I think, but I've not read it yet. Questionable covers, I suppose. But at least Rainbow Spines. Oh my god, let's do one that's not World of Books. Let's do something crazy. We have. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh, okay. We might be able to salvage this, right? Okay. Oh. I thought that was damage on the cover, but it's something is like stuck to it. That's better, I suppose, because I can like slightly peel it off. Oh my god, I'll do that later because that's just gonna be me sat intently for like 20 minutes. I literally just said I was about to stop. Why am I still going now? Okay, so I'm a spider, so what? Volume, I think, 11. That's a clumsy spider. Yeah, 11. Another series he's contemplating picking up next. Uh, yeah, well, that's not too great, but at least it's coming off and it's not ripping the cover, if I'm careful. If I'm careful. If I'm careful! Oh dear lord, I'm stopping. That's going up there. Otherwise, it actually didn't seem too bad. It looks like someone had done something to it or something. Okay, another non-world of books. So we just keep getting crazier on this video, don't we? <laughs> okay, we have... Yay! Solar leveling volume four. So this is oops, pink paper. Oh, I should have checked how much it was. Uh, so this is quite an expensive series because it's um, full color. Uh, so I've been putting off picking it up. It's a bit knackered. It's a bit battered around the top, around here. That's a shame. But I mean, I did pay like seven or eight pounds for it, which is more than half price. So I can't complain too much. I know this is a new release, I know this came out like maybe three or four months ago because I was keeping up to date with seeing how much it was when it came out in case I could pick it up straight away. Uh, I didn't. Excited for that because that's like actually a new volume that I can read because I'm up to date on that series. I very subtly forgot to actually let my second camera charge whilst doing this and it has fully died and it's been overheating a bunch anyway and I want to try and get this done so I'm going there's not going to be any more second camera for the rest of this video but I'll be more careful with videos going forward than there will be so let's just crack on and I'll just show things to you this way instead so another world of books and we have got we have oh that's quite battered oh dear this is really bad Kimi Ni Tadoke volume 18 Oh, this okay second camera would have been great here it has like scratches all the way down you can like hear them as I run my nail down it that's really quite bad you can kind of see that see them like oh gosh that is really bad what happened to you poor volume oh dear wow this is the only way I can oh it's not even they're not like dense it's like the plastics like Ripple, that's so strange. Oh well, next we have. What do we got? What do we got? I'm gonna bet manga. Oh yes, it is Perfect World Volume 11. So this it's a 12 volume series. So with this, I am only missing one more volume. I do feel like I. I enjoyed the series to begin with. I think I've started to dip off a bit. I feel like the pacing is all over the place. Some bits take like four volumes to resolve anything and then some bits like it's two chapters and like three things have happened and you're like, dear lord, this is wow. I think the last volume just made me quite a bit sad. Um, I don't want, it's, it's all spoilers. I can't say anything without being horrendously spoilery. I'm looking forward to seeing how it concludes. Alright, what have we got? We have got, oops, let's pull them all out. We have got Rec Room of the Rose King Volume 2, and this feels pretty decent. This has been such a hard series to find. I'm missing like four or five volumes before I'm up to date, but I do have the latest volume, just certain gaps earlier on. <sighs> volume 2 means I can actually start to read a little more if I so choo chose to. But, I mean, I think I don't have volume 3 or volume 4, so I'll be stuck really quickly anyway. Ugh. But not, not bad quality. 
next we have High School Prodigies Have It Easy in even another world, volume 5. This is a light novel. I picked up a couple of volumes in London for my partner very recently, as in not even, as in the trip to London I did after the London shopping videos. Not sure if it was a series he wanted to start reading, but he is going to now. Finally, we have Kingdom Hearts 3, the novel. Uh, my partner is a big Kingdom Hearts fan. I'm not sure if this counts as a light novel. I mean, it's published by Yenon, so yeah, sure. Yeah. I can't imagine this being amazingly great. I'm not sure if I could deal reading a book which constantly talks about like Goofy and Donald, but I'll s we'll, we'll see when he reads it because he will. Okay, let's not too many parcels to go now. What have we got? This one smells a little musty. We have, if it's for my daughter, I'd even defeat a demon lord, volume three. So look at the cover of this compared to the cover of the other one. This is like cutesy sweet and the other one was just like in the room. They're very thin volumes, so I do only try and pick these up second hand. The quality seems fine, like it's not even flicking up. Like it doesn't, uh, I don't know if I get annoyed or not how new good quality some secondhand volumes seem to be. Like, ugh. Oh, I forgot I don't want this one. Frau Faust, volume one from the creator of Ancient Age of Sprite. I did not know that. Um, yeah, this one I also picked up blind. Don't know anything about it. Except I'd seen it a couple of times, the spine in Flynn Planet. I was like, oh, that looks interesting. And then I saw it secondhand at World of Books and I was like, well, I might as well. It is a bit damaged around the edges, probably read a few times. Yeah, there's flicking there. That's definitely been read. Not too bad otherwise. Okay, we also have Rascal Does Not Dream of a Dreaming Girl. And I think this is just, oh, it's a six. Did I pick up the six? I have no idea. I just, I did just sort of go, <laughs> light novel in the basket. He's not ten. He doesn't tend to be as big on slice of life light novels, so I'm a bit dubious about whether this is gonna be a sort of thing. Though I need to go and actually look into the series to see what I bought him, and I've bought him volume six, and I need to go and find five more damn volumes where he could read it. Last volume in here is Anonymous Noise, volume thirteen. Oh, it's a bit wrecked at the top. Oh, I don't like it when spines are wrecked. Come on, flatten. That's a bit better. I read volume one and thought. Eh, I wasn't too keen. I found it quite, I found a lot, all the characters felt quite full of themselves and way too serious. I couldn't, I just couldn't get behind it. So I do want to try and read slash complete it and it's only slightly because of Rainbow Space. But I, uh, so I'm pretty much just picking it up second hand. I don't really want to pay, I won't pay retail and if possible play less than three for two pricing. We are getting there. We have four parcels left. This one's got a rip so it goes first. We have Alice in the Country of Hearts, the Mad Hatter's Late Night Tea Party Volume 2. I would really like to try and read more of this series. What was that sticking up there? Oh, am I just imagine? Oh no, it's just the cover. <laughs> Never mind. Um, but it is very hard to find and very expensive. Like this one I paid three or four pounds for, but most of the other volumes on World of Books were like 20 pounds plus. 20, second hand. Oh no. So I don't know if I'll ever be able to collect a full set of this because there are loads of volumes and different like spin-offs and titles and stuff. But it would be really neat if I could do one day. Very, very yellowed actually. Itchy nose. Next we have got Connoisseur an Explosion on this wonderful world, volume one. This is the first light novel of the spin-off of Connoisseur centered around Megamin. Now in the manga, the manga is like her before she meets um, Kazuma, so I'm going to assume the light novel follows the same sort of story. It's quite neat, fun. I kind of like her friend. Next we have I Shield 21, volume 21. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I was so excited to get this volume because it's 21 of 21. Really hard series to collect. I am picking up. It, I'm picking it up at a rate of like a volume every other month. This one I got for four pounds fifty, I think. And yeah, it's definitely English because I did nearly buy another volume, but I realised that it was Japanese. <sighs> I have, I think, like fifteen volumes of this, which isn't even half of the series. I have a friend of mine 
who is missing like three volumes and it is also her favorite manga series of all time or something like that she loves it but she's still missing a few volumes where she just can't even find them like forget like it's too expensive she just can't find them and she's very sad so it'd be really neat if Viz could do some more reprints of this but i understand reprints are all like all over the place at the moment yellowed next we have another woof woof story volume six did i I had a very brief moment where I was like, didn't I already buy volume 6? No, it's volume 7. They're even different colours. I don't know why I mixed them up. Yeah, another Woof Woof story. Also, not too bad. Probably been red. It's definitely softer. Last volume in here is Arifaretta from Commonplace Zero, volume 2. So this is a spin-off from the main series, which my partner didn't even know had a light novel until I accidentally let it slip. I should have just not said anything and then Christmas morning I'd be like, <gasps> Oh my god, Caitlin, you're just the best. I'm like, I know. This was also about five pounds. Look how thick these are. It's amazing. Also, seems pretty decent, Nick. Like, really, it's not yellowed. Spines are fine. Oof, we're doing good. Okay. Next. Oh, uh, scrolls. Next, we have Rising of Shield Hero Volume Three. Do you like Rising of Shield Hero Volumes? Because they're like regular manga size but they're really thick i think i got this for like four pounds something with the discounts which is nice uh my partner's been trying to decide if he wants to read this one next as well but he's missing a whole bunch of the early volumes like volume three so i'm i'm i'm, I'm getting the missions of love 11 this is bent a little but i think that's just because of the way it was in this bag uh, I'm picking this up really slowly, really cheaply. Some of the volumes I've managed to pick up for even less than a pound. Uh, no one I've spoken to about it actually likes the series, so I have some doubts about how good it is. But I'm hoping it's so bad that I enjoy it. That's my current hope. Next we have another Anonymous Noise Volume 9. Look at this, this one's all nice and orange. And this one, I think it's nicer quality. It's still a little yellowed, but not as yellowed. But that is also not too bad. So we have Excel World Volume 4. Oh, that's damaged at the top. That's damaged at the top quite bad. It's like something like bit into it. That's really weird. The spine's fine though, at least. Finally, in this parcel, we have Sweetness and Lightning Volume 3. Uh, volume 1, I quite enjoyed. Very sweet, lighthearted, and less age gap romance than the other similar series that I started reading Beast and Beauty, Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the, I don't know, food, the food one. I can't remember exactly how many volumes this has, but I am picking them up secondhand pretty nicely, which is good. Uh, another world of books, another oh, world of books. It's the only other one left in this world of books too. Come on. Yes, we have I've Been Killing Slimes 300 Years and Matt at My Level, volume nine. Uh, I think I bought in volume one. This is the light novel, sorry. I've only bought in volume one so far. The font is like tiny. Goodness me, maybe I'm just used to manga font. <laughs> this is really tiny. It is a little battered, a little scuff, but not too bad again. It's fine, again, a little scuff, but again, it's hard to tell if just maybe it's used or it was just like packaged badly. Next we have Kemini Todoke 28, thankfully in much better condition. Both of them were bought for like, again, four pounds, five pounds. Nothing I think was bought for above like five pounds 50 in the all of the world of books, all of the secondhand stuff, apart from uh, solo leveling. This is a series that is hard to find and I pick them up when I can secondhand. And I think I now have a whole like seven volumes from the series. <laughs> Another Seven Deadly Sins volume 32. How nice is that? That's also quite, clean look at that no no light like, lifting or anything it looks new cherry magic 30 years of virginity can make you a wizard volume one i have seen a lot of people on instagram say good things about this and rate it really highly uh, i nearly picked up volumes two and three as well but they were more than six pounds and i was being really cheap that day so did not pick them up on a normal day i might have picked them up but I'll pick up volume one, see what I think, uh, and see if I'm happy to spend more than six pounds on these. <laughs> Finally, in this parcel, we have Arifaretta Zero Volume One. So he can actually start reading the series when I give him the volumes, which is nice. I am quite excited for him to get these because he doesn't, he didn't know it was a thing, and it's quite a new surprise for him. So that's nice. I don't know how many volumes of this series are out so far, but yeah, both of these I managed to get for five pounds each. 
which is great for light novels. Final parcel ah, from World of Books. <laughs> really split it open. Dear Lord, I don't remember ordering most of this. This must be an old parcel. We have Asterix Warp Volume 7. This is a light novel. This will be the only one he has. So I uh, really need to step up my game to try and pick up more of these before Christmas so he has a decent chance of trying to read it. I hear lots of good things about it and I kind of like the spines. I have high hopes. Next we have Another Missions of Love Volume 9. It says $7.99 on the back. When was this sold for $7.99 retail? Wow, that's the price of just a regular biz or nowadays. <sighs> didn't I say to make my ability? Didn't I say to make my abilities average in the next life? Volume 10. Yeah, quite far into the series. This is an old one because it still says seven seas on the spine. It doesn't say airship. Though actually, to be fair, I don't know if they are maintaining whatever imprint it had for the duration of the series, even though they now have an airship one. September 2020. I don't remember when they brought the airship uh, imprint in anyway. This is a series that I have been reading the manga of, but the manga releases a volume like every other year. It's very slow, so gonna need my partner to read the light novel to tell me if it gets better or not because it has been a bit lully though how can it not when you're only reading a volume every other year next we have Arisa volume 2 I bought a bunch of these in Forbidden Planet for I think $1.99 each um, and I was quite happy doing that because I see a lot of these volumes pop up second hand as of late I haven't seen any and I'm a bit nervous like I left it a bit too late and now I'm not going to be able to find the rest of the volumes Oh well, I'll see. But yeah, I, be, I think I even picked this one up for about £2 something as well. I don't know anything about it either. Final volume in this parcel and in this unboxing is... Alice in the Country of Joker Circus and Liars Game Volume 7. So this is another Alice in the series. I already have, I think, two or three volumes from the in Joker but this is just another one. Still can't read anything though because I don't think I have volume one. Uh, there we have the second hand unboxing of not just manga but a whole bunch of light novels as well. Please let me know in the comments what you thought, what you think of the quality, if I tempted you to buy, try some second hand manga, are you going to try World of Books yourself, see what discount code you can find. If you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for lots of manga fun content. There'll be, I don't, I have no idea what order I'm going to put all these videos out yet. I just film a bunch and then kind of decide Side, so nothing's ever in chronological order and it gets all confusing when it, what I'm saying and stuff. I do need to film a collection tour. I also want to film a tips and tricks to buying secondhand manga. It's particularly now that I've just done this I can use some of these as like examples on ways to and to not and how to look after it and treat it and stuff like that. If you haven't checked out the first half of the manga unboxing go check that out where I opened all like my new manga and new releases and not dirty secondhand manga. Uh, otherwise thank you so much for joining me have a great day see you next time bye!